Hello, everyone. Welcome to our today's session. And today, we want us to look at uh, this concept that was tested uh, last semester, advanced financial management, called uh, the Macaulay's uh, duration. If you ask me, this is something that is outside the scope of our uh, FM syllabus, and I believe Kasneb will be able to turn a blind eye towards it. And then, of course, they mark the total script less marks for this particular question. But that is not my decision. That's Kasnev's decision. But Macaulay's duration is not part of our syllabus in AFM. Now, so here I am, I'll be able to do an example which is similar to that question because we are yet to get Kasnev's papers, all right? And it will be very important at this juncture to draw your attention so that you can take this opportunity to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if possible, please hit that thumbs up. Share this video link with your friends outside there. And most importantly, choose the RCM Online College as your college of choice in matters of a CP. You will never go wrong. So this is what I would want us to look at today. It's a big concept in ACCA. So the Macaulay duration. The Macaulay duration measures the average time it takes for a bond to pay its interest and the principal. The calculation is as follows. Number one, you calculate the present value of the cash flows, and then you add them up. Number two, you multiply the present values obtained in number one above of each cash flow by the corresponding time period, and then add them up. And then you divide the result from B and the result from A. Example four, a company has 8% bonds in issue, redeemable in five years time at a premium of 10%. Remember in Macaulay's concept, this premium of 10% is what you shall use as the cost of capital. The current market value is $98.63 for 100 dollar nominal so number one they want us to calculate the gross redemption yield and then number two they want us to give them the macaulay's duration the macaulay's duration so then what in this case here strikes uh, me quite uh, fast to the gentleman here is that we have a bond whose uh, coupon rate is a hundred or rather whose coupon rate is eight percent so the coupon or the interest rate, the interest rate is 8%. And then we have the power value. The power value, the power value is 100. And then it's a redeemable bond, a bond whose charge will be refunded after five years. After five years. At the end of the fifth year, the cash will be refunded. So the investor who buys this particular bond, the investor who buys this particular bond will enjoy this kind of cash flow. So year number one, you will get interest only. So 8% of 100 is 8. Year number two, you'll get 8% of 100, which is 8. Year number three, remember it's constant interest, constant cash flow. So here we'll also get 8, here we'll get 8, here we'll get 8. Now I must come and write year 5 here to take cognizant of the fact that uh, there is a hundred uh, which will be redeemed, which will be given to this investor. So in year five, this person will be having two types of cash flow. There is the interest and there is the redemption amount that he will come and earn. So these are the cash flows. Then I would need to come very fast and provide what we call the present interest factors at the premium rate, which we have said will be our cost of capital. So end of year one, what is the PV, present value interest factor? For 1991, year two, 0.8264, remember we are, we are working with 10% as the cost of capital. Year three, 7513, year four, 0.6830, year five, 0.6209, and we shall use the same for this amount of 100. 
for this amount of 100, so this, then this will be 0 0.6 to 0 0.9. So somebody may wonder, how come they are using TV and yet these are a uniform amount? It's because I decided to handle them as lump sum amounts. I split them. Remember, I can only use PV per if I was to look at eight, for example, like here. If I take here, these are five. If I, I can talk over A times PV per 10%, five years. But when I decide to use each one of them independent like that, then I have to use what we call PV, PV. I have to use what we call PV. Please watch out for my previous videos on this YouTube channel uh, regarding what here, regarding this present valuation, regarding the present valuation. So then very fast, I would want you to come and give me the discounted cash flows, discounted cash flows. So for discounted cash flows, what do we have here? What we are also calling present value, two decimal places, two decimal places. Uh -huh. 7.27. Six point six one, six point zero one, five point four six, four point nine seven. The last one will be 62.09. So then come and give me the total present value. Give me the total present value. Add all of them up, total present value. Give me the total present value. Ninety-two point four one. Now listen. Now, this is what makes Macaulay's uh, model quite different. Once you've been able to get this present value, come and put the last column here where you take the present value that you have times their duration. Times their duration. These are the durations here, corresponding duration. Corresponding duration. So you take here one times this present value. So then this gives me 7.27. .7. The corresponding duration for the second one is two times now this present value which gives me 13.22, thank you very much. How about this cash flow corresponds to three? Corresponds to three. 18.03. And then we have now four times this 5.46. 21.84, uh -huh. and then we have uh, the next one. Twenty-four point eight five, and then we have, uh, I think, the last one now, five times this sixty-two point zero nine. You can repeat again. Repeat again. One two three four five. And we have this five point four point nine seven. We have confirmed whether it's giving us twenty-four point eight five. Thank you very much. And then now we have the last one, which is five times this present value, 300 and something. 310.45. So then come and give me this total, total, total present value multiplied with the duration. Total present value multiplied with the duration. If you add them up, what are we going to get at the end of the day? Three ninety five point six six like that. Three ninety five point six six like that. And then to be able to get then the Macaulay's duration, Macaulay's duration, you take this total present value times the durations. Total present value times the durations. This figure three ninety five point six six divided by the total present value here of ninety two point four one. Remember, as we said up there. The Macaulay's duration is an average, a weighted average. So what are we getting here? 4.28 years. 4.28 years. 
4.28 years. 4.28 years. It's my belief that you guys have been able to follow somehow. And it's my belief that now you have a, a strong resolve to join RCM Online College, which of course is the number one college in East Africa on matters of CPA, matters of CIPA, ETC. And this is our phone number.